What's that in that garage? A couple of Cylons from Battlestar Galactica. I don't know. Kit from Knight Rider had twins. What in the world is that? Check this out. Wonder what that is. Oh, it's a couple of MPP solar inverters. Split phase. 5648s. The system's been running great for a couple months now. I have a pair of MPP 6548s set up in split phase. I have 220 in the house and 110 volts off each side of the neutral leg. And everything's working very, very nicely. Fantastic capacity on these. Runs the entire house. Uh, run the, the dryer and the air conditioner and still have a little left over after that to run the rest of the house for entertainment and whatnot. You can even kick on the coffee maker at the same time or the microwave. So uh, yeah, these, these really can kick it out. Um, these are rated together uh, 13,000 watts. Double that for a surge for five seconds. I've never come up to that yet. So uh, everything's working great. And we have start here with the, the solar. Got uh, these thousand volt rate, rate, uh, rated DC breakers. And uh, you want to make sure you play, pay a special attention to the polarities when you're working with DC breakers or you can have a problem with fire on your breakers. You don't want that. Got the cover for the uh, MP4 connectors in there. And we have more connectors going into this unit here. The DC disconnect. And I have resistors wired in there so I can uh, charge the uh, inverters before throwing the switch, which uh, you don't want to be doing. It's hard on your inverters. It's also hard on your BMS to take a surge like that. So you want to charge them up slowly. Real nice meter here. Uh, these are now only available. I can find on um, uh, eBay. And the version you want is the 100 volt, uh, 500 amp version. So you have to look around on eBay for that. These are really nice because of the display. It tells you everything you want to do, know at a glance without having to open up an app and look at, look at both of your inverters. Highly accurate. Uh, this is not a shunt. This is a Hall effect. It's a little ring, almost like a current transformer. Works real well. Highly accurate. Surprisingly accurate. Um, it comes back to the same spot after each cycle and whatnot. I'm really, really happy with that. It also has an extra feature. Uh, I can set it up right now. You can see that uh, LUV uh, position is open. And I have that uh, uh, available. I haven't wired it up yet, but I have the settings so that it can turn on my balancer uh, when the cells get over 3.4 volts per cell and shut it off below that also. So uh, that's working real well. I have another system down below I'll show you later. Uh, the little wall wart is to power that. And also for down below for powering the... Uh, uh, the control voltage control for the uh, uh, balancer I have down there, the active balancer. I have a daily 300 amp unit. Fan has never come on. I wonder if it works. Uh, supposedly they call it a smart BMS. Uh, by today's standards, not that smart, and it's big. If I had to do it over again, I'd probably go with a, uh, a couple of. Uh, JK BMSs, the um, 200 amp versions, instead of one like this. I could split up my cells, 16 cells, on, on each one of the JK units. Uh, I'd get the 200 amp version with the 2 amp balancing. 
smart balancing system in it. And I go over here. Got these little meters so I can check uh, each side of my lines uh, how well it's balanced. So if I'm pulling too much off of one side, I can go to the breaker box out there and swap some breakers around or swap the lines on the breakers and balance my, my system a little bit better. Got the uh, disconnect going to the panels outside and uh, there's a breaker on the panel where it feeds in. It's a 70 amp, this is a 60. If I want something to trip somewhere, I want it to happen here. Same thing goes here, uh, outside the meter. Uh, there's another breaker uh, at, at lo a local breaker out there too. And that's a 70. Um, I want things to trip in here first, but those out there are basically a disconnect. And I have source control here. And this is wired uh, double pull, pull, double throw. I believe it's, uh, uh, what is it, 16? Pole or 16 connecting uh, unit, and I have this wired up so it'll uh, it's rated right now because of the way I've doubled them up, uh, it's 120 amps at least. I have uh, the source indicator lights up there. It tells me if I have uh, 110 available or if the generator is uh, up to speed, and this also helps so that it's impossible to. Uh, accidentally go to the grid with your power from your generator so it's almost like a, a interlock or a, basically a big disconnect switch uh, right behind this on the outside there's a, a the connector the, the, the uh, outlet generator outlet uh, for a predator 9500 and uh, uh, inverter generator that works really sweet and that'll run uh, pretty much the whole house also but this basically has a lot more power than the Predator. Um, the Predator can only run like the dryer by itself or the, uh, uh, the dryer and the house, but it can't run the dryer, the house, and the air conditioner. This can, the inverters can, easily. Uh, these have a rating of 52 amps. Uh, was it 52 or 54? I have to see if I can read the label here. Ah, 54 amps, I'm sorry, 54 amps in and 54 amps out on these breakers. And uh, so far that's been plenty, no problems there. Uh, the way this is wired, looks a little confusing maybe, with these conduits. Got some of these wires running from here, that way to get to one. And some of these wires running from here to here, and also from here to here going in, so I didn't have to run two tubes, two conduits to each unit. Uh, it's sharing the in, in and uh, uh, input lines and output lines in the same conduit, and then they just kind of cross between the units with a big nipple in between. Running pretty nicely there. That's a uh, uh, two-watt cable going in and going down to the batteries. And they only start to get a little warm once you get a little over 160 amps. Then, yeah, it starts getting a little warm. You can feel some warmth coming off of it on a cold day. It's kind of nice. Put your hands on them. <laughs> so, uh, I'll uh, open the cover and we'll look look at the batteries. Have enough capacity here to triple the capacity. There's uh, the batteries are. Uh, uh, 32 kilowatt hour and they're uh, 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 cattle uh, 310 amp hour cells 32 of them we can go down and bring those out all right I got the bench cover removed now you can see the batteries they're uh, 2p 16 series configuration and uh, they're compressed. There's four modules here with eight cells per module. Each module weighs 100 pounds, so it's pretty easy to uh, move them around. You just have to disconnect the jumper, some of the jumpers. I made these jumpers myself. I can't recommend doing them over. <laughs> they were a lot of work. And uh, this is what they look like. You 
see there's four plies right there and what they what they are there's the bottom and you can see there's an embossed area right there and they're embossed with about 5,000 pounds uh, which makes them parallel my fixture made them parallel to the top and the bottom so there's no compression and flattens them they were pre-flattened and then retinned and then compre uh, embossed and that work hardens the copper so it doesn't compress anymore it's good and hard in that area and uh, makes it totally flat to the top and bottom so when you tighten the nut down the, the nuts not binding comes down nice and flat and uh, these don't get warm the two watt cable gets warm these do not these nice they stay nice and cozy cool um, like I said before if I had to do it over again I'd probably go with the JK BMS and uh, go with the cables diagonally like this just do two sets of eight and that would be the, the, a good way of going with they're compressed uh, I might be making a video on that in the near future I hope and uh, there's a silicone spacer between all of those we got the long spacer or log jumpers got 12 of these normal ones we have a crossover you can see the four ply we have some uh, thin uh, shrink tube I found that was very pliable to protect them and these longer jumpers here to go between and uh, and the temperature sensors there and then we have the balancer and there's a little voltage unit this one's only good for uh, the voltage sensing was I uh, was limited by its rating as you can see the, the capacitor there uh, is not going to handle the voltage I forgot what the voltage was on there I was reading it it wasn't that was the limiting factor um, I think it, it would not handle the full voltage all the way across there might be some circuitry also that wouldn't be able to handle it so what I did is I went through half the cells you can see that it's reading half the voltage half the cells right there and I got my trigger voltage set up on that so when it it hits 3.4 volts per, per cell um, it turns the balancer on and then below that it turns it off using that you know, little Heltec uh, be a uh, balancing unit works pretty good it's not quite as good as so like a knee or some of those other active balancers that will keep high current all the way up to almost no voltage differential more voltage differential you've got the better these Heltex work but uh, uh, so far I've got great Delta uh, on the long slope the typical uh, Delta is you know I see as low as one or two and average high is probably six or seven on the long slope and then the, on the ends uh, depending on your current the most I think I've ever seen my, on my delta is like about 45 50 millivolts at either end depending on how how hard it's being charged or discharged but uh, I'm really happy about that no issues again we got the springs compressing on that end and made some changes and upgrades on these boxes and um, uh, I'm going to uh, uh, keep that in mind when I list the improvements and those are the other odd jumpers here the only other two ones or two odd ones the rest are all these big jumpers here with the uh, four hole jumper I have uh, no problems with it if I had the, the JK BMS, I could probably put them down here, but that was just too big to go down here. They're too lazy to move the shelf down lower. Besides that, my back doesn't like going down there that long when I'm torquing everything. That old is sticking in on me. <laughs> but I do have room for uh, three more. I'm sorry. Uh, yes, three more systems like this for ba uh, more batteries. Uh, that I can add to it, but that's going to be a ways out there because there's what about six thousand dollars worth of batteries here and whatnot, including you know BMS and everything else you've got. 
uh, the wires are the silicone and I extended them uh, except for the uh, the hell tech that from the uh, daily I ex extended the wires and made them a little heavier and they're all the same length that's why it's a little messy I didn't want to cut the wire length leaving them uh, the full length even though some could be shortened but I don't want to have a, a, a resistance issue with it with any of the wires because uh, this system can't automatically compensate and neither can the daily so uh, we'll just let it roll at that any questions let me hear it.